Hello, we're going to talk about boobies. The most common things that um, young women talk about breast cancer are like three things. One, they either don't talk about it at all. She asked me, she was like, have you done scans before? Do you do like regular checkups on your breast? And I'm like, no. I don't think I've ever talked about breast cancer with my friends. Two, they won't get it. The older we get, the more conscious we are about the food that we eat or what we put into our bodies or put into our minds. But the big C word is uh, still quite intimidating. I used to live my life thinking that like, you know, I've always been in the pink of health. But nothing, anything would happen to me until it actually happened. Or three is a death sentence, which is not true. The recovery rate for breast cancer um, is actually quite high, especially when the cancer is discovered early. Breast cancer is something that has ran in my family. My mom passed away when I was like nine. It's always been something that my dad's like, remember when you turn 20 something, you need to go get checked. Remember, don't do this, don't eat unhealthy food. I was just turning 30, it was in 2018. Um, and I started to feel like pains in my chest area and I didn't, think, I didn't think too much of it because you know it's one of those things where the pain comes and goes around your body and you're like oh, okay whatever. I, there was just one night where it like got to me and you know like how when you feel pain you just like you press on it to, to see what, what's going on and that's when I felt this um, like relatively large solid lump. In Singapore, every year about 2,000 breast cancer cases are diagnosed and about 20% of those 2,000 cases are diagnosed for women under the age of 45. And there are certainly cases of women diagnosed with breast cancer even under the age of 30 years. I went for examinations um, or different opinions over a course of 2-3 months and over that period, the lump was growing. And what locked it in for me is that I think in the second month that I was still going for different opinions, there was another lump that was growing, also solid, also relatively large. And that's when I was like, yeah, okay, I'm going to find out what this is. What exactly is breast cancer prevention? I'll give you an analogy, okay? Um, you know, every woman would grow old, but you apply all these creams, uh, moisturizers, last serums and whatnot, just to keep your youth, to prevent getting your first wrinkle. So why can't you do it for your health as well? So I guess as humans, when you're afraid of something, we like to ignore it. But, you know, our health is important and I think it's good that um, we just talk openly about things that may scare us. Because the more you talk about something, the more, for example, we talk about breast cancer, the less distant it feels. So it has been maybe about two years plus and when I got the results, you know, the lumps were benign, so that's great, but I had to go for um, checks every three months for the next year and then now I just have to go every year. Knowledge in general is powerful, right? Like you can technically give yourself a self-examination just by looking after your body and, and checking to make sure there's no lumps and making sure that you go to the doctor the moment you feel any kind of pain. You only got one body. You have to really take care of it. Talking about it may be helping other people who are dear to you, close to you, your parents, your loved ones. So definitely we should talk about breast cancer.